Shalom, and welcome back to the channel, you guys. It's Jonathan the Code Searcher. You hadn't seen me in a couple of weeks. And so I've uploaded a couple of videos that were recorded um, during the time that I was on restriction. Many of you don't know, because I couldn't tell you, and you're not friends with me on Facebook, uh, I was restricted on YouTube for two weeks for violation on the... the uh, videos that I did and so that has elapsed a couple of days ago conveniently at the beginning of Zakot as, as I know many of you are so celebrating that right now Hagsomayak happy Zakot to the, you that are keeping the correct calendar uh, or any calendar for that fact um, that Yahuwah has you on right now everybody is in their place where they're supposed to be right now uh, is obviously not the time where he's going to unite us on this but that day is coming, you guys. I've seen more and more people uh, on this particular calendar that I'm on uh, this year than any year before. And that excites me. So uh, I wanted to share something with you um, in my hiatus when I couldn't upload anything. Um, I did search more names. We are still working on that, you guys. But um, I did search a couple of other uh, tables during this time, which you would have led me to do research on the calendar. I had already had some five or six, maybe five, maybe. Um, and then I got two more that I recently have been working on. The other other ones I've worked many months ago and even years ago. And I recorded a video for a particular person on the subject. I wasn't even going to post those those tables because I was going to teach the calendar based on scripture alone and um, not even use the codes. I think that is more strength than that. The codes are just another witness. Um, but anyway, it, it is what it is for the person who was that was intended for. It wasn't received. And so I released it to everyone. Anyway, so since there are so many people interested in the codes and in the calendar, just rest assured the codes do confirm this calendar, you guys. And I'm talking about the lunar solar calendar. So that's what I'm going to be talking about uh, in this video. I'm going to share some of the things that I have found in the past week or 14 days, uh, a couple hours here, a couple hours there, that I've worked on these tables. And so let me pull that up for you. And we'll get right into it. One of them is called um, the calendar of Yah. And then the other I, I got from the scriptures talking about the faithful witness, which is in Psalms. And uh, that's how I found the other. Let me take this filter off. That's kind of annoying me. This new thing you can do <laughs> on uh, Zoom, however, it's kind of annoying me when I turn my face, it cuts off the front part of my face, which looks kind of weird. So anyway, I'm going to share screen on this other computer to what I've been working on for you guys. I sure have missed you. Uh, I know there's many of you not on Facebook, so you didn't have any way of knowing that I was being restricted, though you suspected it because I saw your emails and stuff come through and you're, anytime I'm not on, you don't see me more than 10 days, I start getting a flood of um, emails of where are you at, what's going on, and I appreciate that, you guys, that's, by the way, I'm not complaining, I, I really appreciate the, the thoughtfulness that you all have, and um you know, constantly praying and thinking about Jonathan. And um, that's always been the case in my life. So you, you guys are looking out like brothers and sisters do. And I appreciate that. So thank you for your messages and your phone calls and your emails and all of those things when you're checking on your, your brother. Uh, I receive that well, uh, even if it takes me a little while to get to you, you guys, because I get, I get almost a thousand between the three emails that I get use um, emails a lot of them. And so sometimes I miss seeing yours, uh, which is that needs to be addressed now. Because Some of you thinking I'm ignoring you. That is not the case. Jonathan, don't do that. I, I take time for everyone that I can. 
And so if I haven't reached out to you or answered your email, it's not because I'm ignoring you or anything like that. It's because I get overwhelmed with messages and not just personal ones, but um, all kinds of other internet stuff. Anyway, here is one of the tables that I wanted to talk to you about. And it is the calendar of Yah. Lakshana Yah is the access term. As you can see here, and some in initial, very interesting anomalies uh, without even going into the plain text. As you can see, I've got a few highlighted, um, but in and, the clusters in and around the axis term in the, in the plain text right there, uh, going through the axis term in the yellow is Shabbat. The Shabbat and the calendar of Yah. That's what it is all about. And just a, just a little ways over, you can see the word sowed, which means hidden. So depending on how you permutate uh, these letters in the plain text, you can get a few different things. But what I'm showing you here is the, the uh, Shabbat is secret or hidden. And the white term that runs uh, just using the, the Samic in sowed, which is secret or hidden, uh, running this way is just three letters, means crescent moon. The secret of the crescent moon is co directly connected to the Shabbat, you guys. Uh, if you've been watching the videos that I've been putting out in sequence here right recently, um, you'll see that even, even Enoch confirms this with the cycle of the moon, that we go from a dark moon into a crescent phase, into the fullness phase, into the waning phase, and then the cycle repeats itself, okay? It is there. The codes are confirming. Lachodesh uh, in the yellow. You can see there, Lachodesh, which is the head of the month. It also means in uh, the new moon. Um, and we've got in the moon, if you want to use the, the word Yerach, here the both terms, they conjoin together. Uh, right there at the Dalit and the Resh, they come together like, like scissors. And then in the plain text, sitting right on top of it, going in the reverse, which means this is an abacus effect, okay? Abacus effect, another anomaly clustering right here with Lachodesh and in the moon, Laharech, you've got Baharech right there, in the moon, in the uh, purple there. Okay, we also got the word Shabbat, very close proximity. The Shabbat again down here under where uh, in this purple term, which is the clock, the clock for who the Sharit, the remnant right here is connected to the Shabbat, which is connected to the OTO, the letters or the signals. We also have uh, a version of that word. Um, but the root of it is or, which is light, but the permutation of these letters together, you could get the same word, which is signals, very similar to OTO, but this is ot or, right? You can say light is of the light, and you whose name is right next to it. You also see sharit or the remnant right above that, and the blessing of you all clustered together right there. Um, Ephraim, top and bottom, we have Ephraim. This is for Ephraim. And uh, now what I want to do is take you to uh, some of the scriptures that we got right here. And then I'm going to wrap this particular video up because I'm normally I would load you down with many, many tables in each one. Um, and then I forget where the table I did it, which was the second part of so-and-so. Uh, sometimes and so that's not a really good reference for me so I'm going to start doing these individually so you can find them um, as a video of itself and not just a cluster of tables together and I know many of you know what I'm talking about because you've asked me not to do that before that it's kind of hard for you to go back and figure out where uh, a certain table was so um, I will do another video for the table that I'm going to show you next um but I'll introduce it to you in this video so you'll have something to look forward to in the next video, which is the faithful witness, you guys.
very interesting table. I'll give you one hint on what it what it confirms, right? And of course, we're talking about the moon. And that is from scripture. The moon is a faithful witness who created it that way. So we're going to start right here, which is in Jeremiah and uh, fifth chapter, starting with the 23rd verse. Uh, for among my people are found wicked men. They lay in wait. As he that set a, set a snares, they set a trap and they catch men. We're talking about a lot of deception, you guys. This is spiritual we're talking about. As a cage full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. Therefore, they have become great and waxen rich. And they are waxen fat and they shine. Yea, they overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not. The cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper, and the right of the needy, they do not judge. Shall I not visit these things, saith you, boy? Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A horrible, a wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by, me, by their means, and my people love to have it so. Hmm. So they love following after these false prophets and these false teachers that are bringing them all kinds of things they want to hear, right? Um, and I believe this is why Yahuwah hid these things and made his Shabbat secret. He made uh, his feast secret. He even hid the, the, the he's going to say it again, Shavuot. He hid Shavuot in the form of Pentecost. And misled us for more than 2,000 years on this thing that does not line up with the agricultural idiom that it represents, you guys. Shavuot is in, it's, you cannot separate the two. They're, they're intertwined together. This feast that we are in now is the celebration of the harvest that we just come through, which ends in the summer, right? Remember July 15th? Driving across the nation, I'm seeing all these wheat fields ready for the harvest. That was the harvest season that we just come through. And it ends with the sun and the constellation, the Virgo holding what? A clutch of wheat. It, it, but the sun is telling us that we are in the time of the harvest. Guess what the moon was telling us? The days of the month and when to count them and when to start our feast. And so... Uh, unless you do that, how are you reckoning the days, you guys? Because it's directly connected to the agriculture. I have proved that over and over again with solid information, empirical and biblical. But I'm going to keep hammering it. I am going to keep hammering it because you said this is important. They got to understand my feast. Come to love my name and and understand the the appointed times the meeting times that we're supposed to have with him you guys it's important if you're going to see a doctor and you miss your appointment and you come on a day you're not supposed to be there is the doctor going to see you no this is why who has appointed times he opens up the windows of heaven he pours out blessings he meets you where you are that special things happen in times like this and this is a joyous occasion this particular feast represents what we're going to do in the millennium with not only Yeshua, the Father and the Son, you guys. It's true. And I'm going to show you that in, in some scriptures uh, about the Father and, and what will happen at the time of the end, when the kingdom comes down. Let me say that again. The kingdom comes down to earth. Heaven comes down. We don't go to heaven. Heaven comes to us, Right. We've got to get all the P's and Q's down first, all the fun fundamental stuff. But back to the table. I can see just by the pattern of things that are running through here that the idol worship and the wickedness of ancient Egypt, uh, ancient, ancient Israel, Yahuwah hid things from us. This included his name through the hand of man and his feast. The very first Shabbat was defiled by Aaron when he said, this is your God, Israel. And he presented them with a the golden calf. It was on that very day. And this is why I believe Yahuwah 
hit it not too long after that. Uh, and it even, you know, 2,000 years later, still was hidden, but he preserved it in the growth cycle of wheat. And he's revealed that to myself and other people. I'm not the only one, you guys. This is not my revelation. I'm thankful that he, he gave it to me. And, and, and for the others who have known this for decades, I count myself fortunate and blessed that he's revealed this to me. So let's continue. Let's look at the other verses here. I'm sorry for rambling. I just haven't seen you guys for a couple of weeks. So I'm a little excited. All right, so we're going to uh, this purple or pink verse I got there, which is uh, this is Jeremiah 7, 2. See where it's going. Trust not in the lying words. Stand in the gate of Yahuwah's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, all ye of Judah that enter into these gates to worship Yahuwah. And say to, and say, and thus saith Yahuwah Zavaot, the Elohim of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Interesting. Amend your ways and your doings. We're dwelling right now in booths, you guys. In the correct time of year. Because this is Lakshana Yah. Lakshana Yah. The calendar of Yah. And he hid it from us. Then we see right over here in the, in the margin. I, I highlighted this because I thought it was appropriate. You can see here, same color of lettering. Uh, this is the sun, the moon, and the stars. Excuse me. The sun and the moon. Point the stars. This is Jeremiah 8. And so I, it's a fragment that I kept here. 8 2. Before the sun, moon, and the host of heaven. So it doesn't say stars, it said the host of Shamayim. Right there. We're talking about the Maserat there, which is part of the clock. And then what do I got highlighted? Running right through the term itself, which is 11.3. And say thou unto them, thus saith Yahuwah, Elohim of Israel, curse be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. What covenant? The covenant in the stars. His clock, his calendar. It is a covenant with us. He gave us these things. The Shabbat. That's how he know. That's how they know that we are his, right? They'll know you by, the, by that you keep my Shabbat. Not just any old Shabbat. His Shabbat. Not your version of his Shabbat either. And then I thought this was interesting because Ba'et Surah is in the plain text there, which is uh, in the day of distress. And I believe that we are we're in those times. These are the times he's revealing um, these things to us and bringing us back to himself in the wilderness, right? It's Jeremiah 14, 8. So I find it interesting that he chose to um, encode this in Jeremiah, but this is for the most part just Jeremiah. I should have pointed that out. This is at a skip of 2063. This is very small in the book of Jeremiah alone. Yeah. Alone. So it's interesting where this is. Okay. Because when they start going off rails and then we come back to him and we're looking at historical truths that we see that he's got there, what he's got, this little gem he's got hidden for us about his calendar. In the time of distress, we're going to discover this. How, who would have thunk it, right? So, um, Jeremiah 14, 8, Oh, the hope of Israel, the Savior, therefore, in a time of trouble, we're supposed to call upon his name. In a time of trouble. And what? He will rescue us. If we don't know his name, wouldn't that pose a problem? You call him the wrong one? Oh, he knows my heart. Yeah, he does. And the Bible says it's wicked above all things. 
quit quoting stuff that you don't <laughs> realize you know what you're saying. It's a cliche term everyone uses. He knows my heart. Yeah. He knows mine too. And it's wicked above all things. All of us are. There is none righteous. Quit fooling yourself. Time to get serious and obedient and follow his ways. This is a covenant. Oh, the hope of Israel, the savior thereof in the time of trouble. Why shouldest thou be as a stranger in the land and as a wafering man that turned aside to tarry for a night? Whilst, and thou, and why that should, shouldest thou be as a man astonished, as a mighty man that cannot say, yet thou, you, thou art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not. That's power. There's power in walking in his name and be in his Shabbat. Blessings will follow you everywhere you go. He will keep you and make angels encamped around you and protect you. Don't you know? Yeah. So uh, let's look a little further down. We could have went line by line, you guys, but for the sake of time, only highlighted a few, but I do have one down toward the bottom, which is close to one of my favorite parts of scripture. Um, well, it is part of my Jeremiah 31. Let's read that together. This applies to you today. I'm going to back up and get contacts, you guys. Okay. Hope you don't mind. At the same time, that's uh, saith Yahuwah, will I be the Elohim of all the families of Israel? They shall be my people. And thus saith Yahuwah, the, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, even Israel, when I caused them to rest. That's a Shabbat. Yahuwah had appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love, therefore with loving kindness. Have I drawn thee? Again will I build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. And thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, and shall go forth with dances of them that make merry. You know you do that at, at Sukkot time, by the way. Dancing and merry and play in the tabret. Uh, I found that interesting. And thou shalt yet plant vines upon the mountains of Samaria, the planter shall plant and shall eat them as common things, for there shall be a day that the watchman upon the mount Ephraim shall cry, arise ye. Don't you know we're in that time? And let us go up to Zion unto Yahuwah Elohim. For thus saith Yahuwah, sing with gladness for Jacob and shout among the chief of the nations. Publish ye, publish ye, and say, O Yahuwah, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country and gather them from the coast of the earth. And with them, the blind and the lame and the woman with child, her that travaileth with child together, a great company shall return. There are many that say this is the greater exodus, you guys. That's right. And they shall come with weeping and with supplications, and will I lead them? I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hallelujah. Hear ye the word of Yahuwah, O nations, and declare it in the isles far off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him and keep him. As a shepherd doth his flock. For Yahuwah hath redeemed Jacob. Hello. And ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Therefore he shall come and sing in the height of Zion. And, and shall flow together to the goodness of Yahuwah. For wheat and for wine and for oil. And for the young of the flock and of the herd. That means you're going to be blessed. You guide the blessings follow you. When you're part of the remnant. There's no chaos. No, that's all part of the threshing floor. This is part of the gathering here, right? The greater exodus, when he takes us into the kingdom, we've already been threshed, right? All that hardness is over. You know, the tricks of the enemy and the pitfalls and all those things are past, right? This is when he's going to bring us in. And look what he says. And their soul shall be as watered garden, and, and they shall not sorrow anymore at all because it's all done 
You passed the test. You made it in. You were faithful. And I will satiate the soul of the priest with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith Yahuwah. Thus saith Yahuwah. A voice was heard in Ramah, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel, weeping for her children, refused to be comforted for her children because they were not. Thus saith Yahuwah, refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears, for thy work shall be rewarded, saith Yahuwah. They shall come again from the land of the enemy. And there is hope in thine end, saith Yahuwah, that thy children shall come again to their own border. I have surely heard Ephraim bemoaning himself thus, and thou hast chastened me, and I was chastened as a bullock, unaccustomed to the yoke. Turn thou me, and thou shalt be turned, for thou art my Yahuwah, my Elohim. Surely after that I was turned, and I repented, and after that I was instructed, and I smote upon my thigh, and I was ashamed, yea, even confounded, because I bear the reproach of my youth. Is Ephraim my dear son? Is he my pleasant child? For since I spake against him, I do earnestly remember him still. Therefore my bowels are troubled for him. I will surely have mercy upon him, saith Yahuwah. Set thee up wave marks and make thee, make thee high heaps and set thine heart toward the highway, even the way in which thou turn again, O virgin of Israel, turn again to these thy cities. How long wilt thou go, O backsliding daughter? For Yahuwah hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man. And thus saith Yahuwah Zavot, the Elohim of Israel, as they, as yet they shall use this speech in the land of Judah and in the cities thereof, when I bring again their captivity, you who will bless thee, O inhabitation of justice and the mountain of holiness. And there shall dwell in Judah itself and all the cities thereof, husbandmen and they that go forth with flocks. For I have satiated the weary soul and I have replenished every sorrowful soul. Upon this I awake and beheld, and my sheep, excuse me, and my sleep was sweet unto me. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I will sow the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass, like I have watched over them to pluck up and to break down and to throw down and to destroy and to afflict, so will I watch over them to build. And to plant, saith Yahuwah. And in those days, they shall no more uh, say no more. The fathers have eaten sour grape, and the children's teeth are set on the edge. Behold, the days come, saith Yahuwah, that I would make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband. Unto them, saith Yahuwah. But this shall be my uh, be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith Yahuwah, that I will put my law in their inward parts, and I will write it on their hearts, and will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. They shall teach no one, every man his neighbor, and every man his brother, saying, No, Yahuwah, for they all shall know me. From the least of them to the greatest of them. Hallelujah. And I will forgive their iniquity and remember their sin no more. Thus saith Yahuwah, which giveth the sun. By the way, this is where we got it highlighted. We start going into this. Which giveth the sun for a light by day and the ordinance of the moon. And the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea with the waves, therefore roar. We're talking about the calendar. It's part of it. He gave us the sun and the moon and their ordinances. He's telling you, if those ordinances depart from me, saith you, and they're not likely to, he's the whole point of this. 
then the seed of Israel shall cease from being a nation before me forever. And that's not going to happen, you guys. These ordinances are forever. Even in the kingdom, when, when Yeshua becomes the, the light by day, we will still have these ordinances. There will still be a way of reckoning the Shabbat and keeping his feast and keeping the correct count. And I'm saying it's not possible that we could go back to a 30-day month and, this, and, the, and everything equalizes back out. That is very possible. I would not put you in a box. And this, is, this could possibly be the result of the cataclysm of Isaiah 24. It goes back to the way it was. But for now, there's a way that we do this, and it's because of the equalization of our sun, moon, and stars after cataclysm that we can accurately track the days of the month and the feasts of the year, year to year. Okay? So I find that so fascinating that that's encoded there in this very place in Jeremiah alone, you guys. What's this verse I got highlighted down here with Odio going? Let's go look and see what that is. Before I close this out, Jeremiah 46 and 27. 46 and 27, so let's scroll up. But fear thou, uh, but fear not thou, O Jacob, my, excuse me, but fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off, and thy seed. Remember what he was just saying, if the ordinance be changed, he destroy, not going to happen. Look what he's saying now. Fear not thou, O my servant Jacob, and be not dismayed, O Israel, for behold, I will save thee from afar off and thy seed in the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return. Every time you see Jacob referenced in this manner, you guys, he's talking about the seed of Jacob. Not just Jacob. Remember what he told Jacob, I'll make your, I'll make your seed like the sand of the seas. Go on out on the beach, any beach, anywhere, and look at the sand. It's innumerable. He tells Abraham, look at the stars. Your seed will be like the stars. Same family line. You can't count it. When he's talking about Jacob and this, it's you and me in these last days. We are part of that. I will save thee from afar off and thy seed uh, from the land of thy captivity. And Jacob shall return and be in rest and at ease, and none shall make him afraid. Fear thou not, O Jacob, my servant. He says that twice. Talk about double speak. Saith Yahuwah, for I am with thee, and I will make a full end of all the nations whither I have driven thee. But I will not make a full end of thee. You know, he scattered the ten northern tribes, which is Israel, which is Jacob, into the whole world. We're not talking about Judah. We're talking about Israel, the house of Israel and the house of Judah, two different houses, okay? He scattered them into all the nations. He's going to destroy all those nations, but he's not going to make an end of Israel in those nations. He protects them. So in all of this world war and all these things that are coming, just take solace and take refuge in the knowledge that he's going to protect you. He's going to station angels around you and camped around you to keep you safe. Okay. So I know there's a lot of scary things we're seeing on the news and things going on in Russia and Ukraine, which is paralleling the uh, exact thing that really not the exact thing, but very similar to what happened in world war one, how it started as a regional thing and grew fairly quickly over a period of years into a very bloody world war. And if you recall 2017, when we were looking at the uh, August 21st um, solar eclipse that was taking place, followed by seven, seven years later, another one crossing the United States, it was my assessment that we're gonna see world war, a famine, but also a pandemic. And um, one of those has happened already. The others are building to that. So just saying you guys, Take solace in what the word says. He's going to protect you of from this. I will not make full end of thee. Right. All right. So this is what I got for you. 
you guys um, in this video, but I'll show you what I'm going to show you in the next one, which is another table called the Faithful Witness. I had to pull it up. I've got like eight or 10 up at the same time. And a few of those are personal names that I've been working on. So here's what this one looks like. And we'll do another video for this one. So we'll have it um, in a, in a it's separate video and not just you know, kind of crunched together in one video that's too long for you guys. All right. So this is what we're going to talk about in the next one. All right. So uh, if you would, please share. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And, and for those that are supporting the ministry and praying for us, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. May you will bless you and keep you always. Uh, I'm currently down in northern Florida at Sukkot with um, some Hebrews down here. I'm not recording any uh, any of the goings on here. You know, we're keeping this very intimate for several reasons. The main reason is I want to protect the identity of these good people um, while, while others are attacking me. Uh, I do not want them to be drawing fire, if you will. These are good people. And um, I'm thankful the Father has brought me to my tribe. Same calendar. Same calendar. Every single one of them are on the same calendar, you guys, and been on it for decades. So I'm under the tutelage of some elders here that are very knowledgeable and um, taking time. Look, taking some courses while I'm here. Um, some very deep stuff, and I will be sharing that with you uh, on uh, YouTube and on my new website, which is coming soon. We're building that now and got some things, Gunner Constructions. Thank you for the person who helped me to be able to do that. May you will bless you. I love you, brother. Um, we'll see you in the next video. Shalom.